Yep, there's the reason. And I get a new one of these. Here's the original connector made of plastic that was in the pump. And the 90 had cracked from getting yanked on, dropped, bumped, hit hard, whatever. So right there is the crack and it was sucking air in there. I got a metal replacement, 3 eighths by 3 eighths. I'll put this in. All right, I got some sealant for this. I'm just gonna put a little sealant on here. That'll help lubricate it so that it threads in there easy and then the sealant will dry and seal the thread so I don't get a air suction here. Okay, this hose is going to hang at an angle, so I think I'm going to turn it just a little bit. Take up some of that weight off of that. Here's the hose connector, and this does have a screen in it. You keep the, the bugs and the big chunks out of it. Alright, that feels like it's starting to take a little snugging up. There is a rubber seal. There's a rubber washer inside of there, so I want to tighten these two up. It won't spin. Okay, that's snug. Alright. Connection on the here is uh, good. Okay. There is no insert here. This soft uh, clamp just squeezes it. A piece of rigid copper for an insert. I'll slip that in here and then the hose clamp won't be able to squeeze it. It'll hold solid. Okay. Yeah, that tightened up. So we got resealed here, got it sealed here. Change the electrical, check it out. I think they've got the power going to the motor and the ground are going to switch, so they got the system backwards. Okay, that's the shutoff switch. We got this wire goes into the harness. This one does not. It goes into the back of the pump, the bottom, comes out of the motor, into the harness. Okay, so what do we got here? The ground, the battery negative, comes out of the harness to the switch. So this top one is the
return power so the electricity is coming in the wiring to the motor brushes uh, out of the brushes to this pressure switch at the bottom here I think they got this backwards I think the power should be shut off at the switch itself that de-energizes anything inside of the motor just like a light switch it comes to the switch it goes through the switch when it's on when it switches off it cuts it off at the switch and everything downstream would be dead Yada yada yada. Not the wire unwrapped. So I've got a black to the back of the motor and a red one that's coming from the switch. So when I pulled on the connection, it actually pulled right out of there. Pulled out of there. So they got the red, red boot on the negative wire, they got the black boot on the positive wire. This is the black wire. This goes to the black wire on the motor. This goes to the switch. The the positive 12 volts goes to the switch. The negative 12 volts with the black boot now clips into here so that it cannot get turned around. Black to negative. That felt like maybe it was stuck. Took a little pressure to push it in. Okay, maybe the foot valve was just stuck shut. Come on, you're still supposed to be a self primer.
right here. Pressure bleeds off. Pump kicks on. Pressures it up again. Okay, we got the last leak fixed. 